quarter for size, uh, Shangan quartz from the Chibuku deposit, Zimbabwe. Intense dark uh, amethyst with shots of smoky quartz running through it. Uh, telltale to this locality also, um, you'd, you'd find almost a clear halo around it. And often in the halo we find little shots of hematite uh, tapped inside there. I just want to, let's have a look inside now. Often in these we find patterning. Now this you'd find with, with bright illumination. So with bright light from behind you can actually see through these guys. They are very, very dark um, uh, amethyst. Horrendously difficult to photograph, or for me at least. I really struggle. Look at that. And then of course look at the edges where, uh, where there's almost a clear halo running around the top. And there's little shots of the hematite uh, running out into the edges. Uh, this one has a tiny uh, touch of matrix on it. I think furthermore, it, otherwise we would we would be going with a floater on this one. It has a touch of matrix. And uh, what's interesting, there are some tiny little quartz crystals at the bottom there, too. Nice specimen. And that's the Shangran quartz from the Chibuku deposit in Zimbabwe. And have I mentioned the size of this one? This is about a quarter fist size, so it's a pretty, pretty good size. Um, see how the color seems to change as I change the angle of the specimen. But I think what you should focus on here is just the crystal faces. And the as I move it, you can see what's happening on these crystal faces. A whole world... Uh, uh, a whole exercise in crystallography uh, which nature has brought to our table.